Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to show you guys how to automatically install WordPress or similar content management systems through cPanel using something called Soft Aculus. Uh, so this package is included in most web hosts from what I've seen these days, and it's an automated installer. So in my case for buyithost.com, uh, we have this over here on the left. And I can also scroll down and see it under software slash services. It may vary a little bit depending on your exact web host. Another way to quickly find it and make sure it's on the page is to hit control F and search for soft Aculus. That's S-O-F-T-A-C-U-L-O-U-S. So hopefully if your cPanel installation includes it, you can go ahead and click into it. And from there, you're going to be given a large series of scripts which you can install to run your website on. WordPress, of course, is going to be one of the most popular, but you also have other options like Joomla or PHB Bulletin Board, if running a form is something you're interested in. Uh, just search through here and find what you need if it's not WordPress. But if we hover over WordPress or search it in the search bar over here, be able to find it. You're going to want to hover over it, look for the install button, Click that. And from here, you're going to need to put in a series of information for the install script to work, including your domain, which is the address people type in to visit your website. Uh, if you are going to have directories inside of your server, uh, you can have it be inside the WP directory. So this would put it at basically the root and then slash WP. Your site name and site description, which you can change later on inside of WP Admin for WordPress, but you can change that to whatever you want if necessary. Your admin login and password, which is going to be something very important so that you can log in, create new posts, whatever else you need to do in WordPress. So make sure you remember that password. Selecting a default language for your package. Uh, my guess is if you're watching this video, there's a good chance you'll just leave it as English. You can choose to include the Loginizer plugin, which will help limit login attempts on your website to reduce uh, bot spam so that if basically a bot fails three or more times, it's going to prevent them from logging in for a little bit. Although it's probably unnecessary, you can set up some extra information for the database, but we'll just leave this default for now. And you can pick a free theme out of the gate. Now, uh, if you're serious about making a good WordPress site, you're probably going to want to get a premium theme at some point just because they tend to be higher quality since you're paying for it. Um, but for starters, you can grab one of these, just select it, and it will install the site with that theme. So we'll use this sensible WP over here. Install it. So we'll try this sensible WP theme over here. Select it. Hit install. It'll scroll back up to the top, and if all your settings are fine, it's just going to go ahead, submit this data, run the script, install WordPress, and then you'll be able to log in. So we have the confirmation message. It's been installed to christtutorials.buyathost22.com slash wp2. We can go ahead and open this up in the web browser to make sure it installed successfully. And while obviously you have quite a ways to go to have a good looking website, we do have it installed with the theme we grabbed and we can start working on our WordPress website. Now, one thing I do want to point out before we wrap things up here, if you want to change the address where you actually go access this website, rather than having to type in slash WP2 up here at the top, we would go to all installations and we can edit the WordPress installation. So in order to drop the URL down to just this .com, we would need to basically change the directory which uh, WordPress is running out of from the slash WP2 to the parent directory htdocs. So if we dropped this and dropped the WP2 off the end of that and moved all of our WordPress installation files over to htdocs, we would be able to save installation details here. And then from cPanel, you would go to the online file manager, navigate to where you have your WordPress installation. So I'm going to enter that. I'm going to select everything. So select everything by hitting all over here. And I'm going to move that up one directory. So we're going to put that in htdocs. Do be careful about it. Make sure you're not overriding anything important. 
So for this particular uploader, and it will vary depending on your web host, I'm going to hit set all target directories so everything's moving into HT docs. We can go ahead back up to the top, confirm it, and we can confirm that it is in that folder by checking the file uploader. So now I'm going to drop that slash WP2 out of our URL, and we can access it just by going to .com. So I've been Chris, and I hope this tutorial has helped give you an idea of how to use Soft Delicious to do a quick automated WordPress install on your website and how to get the URL to play nicely, depending on where you want to access your website from. But in any case, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my future video content.